In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can improve your FileMaker layout from something that looks like this into something that looks like this. Hey, what's up everybody? So last tutorial in the FileMaker Beginner Basics, I show you um, how you can create a database that looks something like this. And in my thumbnail, actually my my whole layout it's looking like this. The both of them are having the exact same function, but um, this one looks, uh, I believe, subjectively, this one looks a little bit more better. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you, but I don't want to, but last time I don't really want to get into too much detail about this part because um, like changing the design is a lot of work and there's a lot of uh, subtle details that it's probably going to take up like a whole hour or something if I explain everything one by one. So if you're interested, just follow along this uh, very short design tutorial. I will be doing what I do and then speak out loud what I'm thinking, my thought process of how to make the whole design uh, looks much better. So let's go. And so first thing first, uh, let's open the layout mode. And what we try to do here is um, make sure you have the inspector panel here and also go to view status toolbar to um, have the toolbar. It just look better. And the first thing we want to do, I want to add the title here, contact database. So click under the text here, drag open type contact database. And for title, usually I want it to be a bigger size. And so I'm going to click on the third tab here and then I'm going to increase the size to very big because it looks better. It's more like visually more impressive and make sure you align the title with the edge here. So there's like an invisible alignment in here that makes the whole thing looks uh, much better. And then you can uh, improve the layout by, um, well, next thing I want to do is that um, now you notice that there's a borderline, very thin borderline on everything. But um, in a lot of cases, uh, borderline it's not super pretty, like in modern layout design. So I want to remove that. So I'm gonna click onto this portal, and then in here, um, there's a here graphic. There's a line here. If I untick this, all four sides will not have its borderline anymore, and then. This thing here, this scroll bar, lo also looks uh, quite old school. So to remove that, double click into this and then use um, scroll bar, show scroll bar when scrolling. So this will hide this thing. And when you're inside the layout and click scroll, it will look um, a little bit better. And the next thing I want to do is to probably um, continue improving this a little bit. So I want the, I want it to have an alternative um, row. So right now every every row is white here. So it might be confusing and not very easy to see like, oh, John, is he a male or female? Because unless you click onto it. So to add a row that looks like this, go to layout mode again, double click onto this and go to take this use alternative row state and click OK, you'll notice that there's a very subtle um, line here, like dark and white and dark and white and kind of thing. And let's go back to browse mode. Now this thing has already improved it so much just by doing that. And it's like now like a much more modern layout design than what we had previously. And the next step, which I forgot to do is um, well, you can always add one little icon on the somewhere on your page to make it more appealing. And one of the best way I like to do this, it's uh, I want to create a button here. And because FileMaker already have a lot of default icons for a button, so we can use that to our advantage. So contact database, let's do a person's uh, that looks like this. To increase this icon size, drag this open and try to match the height of this icon with the text height so it looks a little bit more clean and then the next step I want to do is that obviously I can't just put it like that and have it look really nice 
what I want to do is to remove the background color first to make it transparent. So click on this, go to the third tab of inspector, in the fill, change this to none. So now this is like a black color. And there's also a border outside, so I'm going to remove that as well. I already told you how to remove border. And I want to change this icon color to white, but um, there's not much immediate option. If I change this color, it's for the border. If I, um, let's see, if I change this color, it's for the back, it's for the background here. So how do I change the icon color? Now you can go into the inspector, click on do this, and you can select in here what exactly you want to change. Do you want to change the button itself or the button icon? So click on the icon and now I can change this to white. And which makes this whole database uh, like the the little icon here really adds a lot of life to um, this database. And there's a lot of different icons you can have a look at like this one, this one. It, it really adds an extra kind of taste to it. So usually I like to have an icon somewhere. And the next thing I want to do is, um, now you notice we have a lot of uh, things in here. So what I usually like to do, if I have a lot of things that clutter in here, I want to group it into, um, I, want to, I want to make sure the layout have some clear group and that is uh, very easy for the viewer to watch. So visually, right now, the layout have a few group. The first group is the header section here. This area here is the first group. The second group is this portal here. And then we have a lot of very minor groups like this, 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 and this. And having more than three groups within the layout, it's usually start to make it more confusing. So what I like to do usually is that I want to make all of these visually looking like, uh, like, looking like they're in the same group because they are the same group of information about one particular customer. So let me just drag this away first, drag it away. And I can I can like um, s easily select them later. If I go here, um, let's see. Um, I only know the shortcut. I don't know how to do it. So um, let's just do the shortcut. If you type Command R or Control R, you can group everything together into one piece. So it's uh, easier to see uh, to drag them around later. And what I want to do here is to add like a little white section here a white section here that is a uh, hundred percent white and I want to remove the outside border as well and then um, maybe tune this a little bit so this space here uh, is identical to this of the height of this space here so it's a parallel so it's visually more uh, balanced and it makes it looks better and to improve this even more, if you can balance all these space on all four sides of the layout, it will be uh, much more um, aesthetically pleasing. So basically, having a good layout, it's all about the visual balance. So if I can match the icon, the edge of the icon to the edge of this portal, it looks better, and etc, etc. And then, now this footer space, I don't really need it, so I'm just going to drag and make it to like a zero point here. So, and then here, I want to match it with the portal, same le same uh, height here. It's very minor, but um, I'm just sometimes a little bit compulsive about these kind of things. Um, okay, what's next? So, um, we now have this space here, and let me just explain some very interesting concept about modern layout design. So. I learned this from uh, how many of the Google um, layout um, user interface works. So you have a very um, light gray background on the back, like this. But I'm I'm trying I'm making this color a little bit more obvious, but that's not the most beautiful way to do it. But and then you have a absolute white section here. So the difference between them forms a line instead of uh, in like old school system. 
you actually have a borderline somewhere here that looks like this. It looks very old school like this, but if I don't have a border and the uh, and the visual line is created by the difference in color, that makes it look uh, much more modern. And let's change this color to um, a more a cleaner, I mean like a lighter color. So it, you only need to be like super subtle to make it nice and then um, yeah it looks pretty good that way and so the next step um, I want to move uh, everything here back into this space but when I'm working on this I don't want to accidentally move this so I can go to the first tab position click this thing to lock it and then I'm going to drag this and put it here and wait um, it's on the back so um, uh, what I can do is to go to here, left panel, object, I have a whole group here. I'm going to move it on top of the rectangle, show, so everything is showing on the top. So I next step, I want to ungroup this. In the Mac, I click uh, Control shift r to ungroup everything. And yeah, let me see if I can find you that button somewhere here. Um... No, I can't find it, but... Oh, okay. Arrange, group here. So if you don't use a shortcut, you can just use a uh, arrange group in here, which is very nice. And, okay. So the next step I want to do is to um, probably make this photo a little bit smaller and place it here. And I want to make sure that these lines is aligning with the photo on top here. So maybe I can move this uh, down a little bit like this and you want to make sure your things uh, also have uh, decent spacing like even spacing between each of them so that will help in uh, improving the look <clears throat> and you can just click on everything like this and there's one cool trick that I learned um, we can do is that instead of having your name in like the standard English uh, letter format like um, uppercase N A M E just make everything uppercase and it looks uh, much better and make the size of this uh, smaller so let me open the view formatting bar it's like the easier way to change the text size and I'm making this like 10 points comparing to the main view as 12 point but actually let's just just change everything I want this to be bigger in, in size so like this so now I have a 14 point text and a 10 point um, label beside it. And I'm just going to quickly change everything to upper cap. And then change all of these into 10 points. And what I like to do usually is to align to the left and then have them match together like this. So there's like a um, matching alignment on here and actually you can just do this click on all four of these item click onto the first tab here align left to push everything um, evenly and then move this up a little bit and then maybe this one move uh, just slightly a bit here and then i'm gonna move this a little bit further around here so let's just have a look into browse mode Okay, I think that looks much better. And in this case, I also want this picture to um, extend to its fullest because right now there's some space in here. I want this picture to expand. To change that behavior, just go to layout and then click onto this thing here. And then um, there is an option on the fourth tab, data. So the behavior of this thing. And then on the bottom there, there's a format reduce or enlarge image to fit so quickly click on the browse mode and it now enlarge itself a little bit and because this original picture have uh, have a little i think also it still have some paddings in here so this part is still not filled so go to layout mode click here and then click on the third tab padding zero 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 so um, yeah I think that way everything looks uh, so much better like this 
And then um, the next step I want to do is to change this because right now it doesn't look super cool. So what I'm going to do is to um, go to layout mode again. And then I forget how I did the other one. Let me just have a look. Okay, that's not super beautiful, but basically what I want uh, in this time is to create a very thin border. Um, I know, I know, I just said border is not it's super old school, but you don't want to overuse that um, difference thing because um, now it's just a feeling. I don't really have a, like a like a logical justification of my decision. It's just that I feel like this way it looks better. Sometimes I don't know why, but that's just the way that it is. And I want to maybe increase this so it kind of use up all the space. <clears throat> that I have and then drag this open a little bit and I can actually also um, so if I go to browse mode right now there's a line here line here it looks weird so I can actually go to layout mode and then click on this note here uncheck the line on the th third tab the appearance tab and I actually want a line on this whole portal row instead so I can click onto this portal and then in the th third tab I can see that I want to change the portal row instead of the portal itself and then I can go here to add a bottom line and a very thin maybe one point bottom line that is uh, very light color so you have a very um, easy way to have a look so um, let's see browse mode yeah, I think it looks uh, much better than before. And so I think let's compare this to our final product here. Now the reason why this, I think this, um, this version still looks a little bit better, it's because I think it has a very nice proportion of um, 16 to nine. Um, and this one is not probably, it's not super good proportion wise. So it's like something like I think it's a golden ratio thing. I don't know, but you can go here and um, hide the status two bar. Oh wait, actually, I think it looks pretty good like this. But this one has a little bit more style to it. I don't know why. Maybe it's this icon's alignment here that makes it looks more neat, or the color, and you can also see more records here. But anyways, um, I think this is a uh, this is one good. Um, little screencast to show you how I can um, how you can improve your design layout to make it look uh, more clean and I think um, it's very important especially if you're working in like a business setting if you're making database for other people if the look sucks people will think your database sucks it's just uh, the way of life and um, I hope this little design screencast help you understand better of what you can do with the inspector panel and what you can change and how uh, you can in general um, improve this and so i think that's basically it and um yeah i guess i'll see you next time